got to be in pictures. You're wonderful to see. You ought to be in Hello and welcome to Deep Dive Movie Reviews with my friend Steve Hackman and myself, James Marsh. This is a deep dive short talking about Bullet Train. I ended up liking Bullet Train more than I thought I was going to. Mm. Yeah, I think I did in the end. It was one of those ones that kind of slowly grows on you as it goes along. That's, you know, James, I couldn't have said it better. Uh, like a third of the way in, I was kind of irritated. The mm. Tangerine and Lemon characters, at first, I just thought they're too clever for their own good. And they're trying too hard to be these Guy Ritchie characters. Well, then the whole and, movie and then has they... a kind of sort of very smug, sort of self-satisfied air about it. It's like, we're, this is a cool movie, okay? So yeah, just yes, sit back, so, we're, we're yeah. fucking cool. Yeah, and you're like, yeah. well... Yeah. You're a bit tired, actually. Yeah. <laughs> a, bit, a bit irritating. But, but it grew on me. I, mm. I found myself actually liking Tangerine and Lemon at the end. Um, and it took a while for me to get there with them, but they got there in the end. And uh, Oh, by the end, I think Aaron Taylor Johnson is the best thing in the movie. Yes. In fact, when he finally bites it, I was disappointed. Yeah, I was like, you know? oh, now what? Yeah. And of course, you know, Brad Pitt just goes from strength to strength. The guy's just always cool you know well, it's a funny one isn't it because it's not the kind of movie he normally does and i think he's really got his work cut out to hold focus during the movie because yeah, there's yeah. so many characters there's so much going on yeah, yeah. Uh, but and yet he somehow manages to do it just through sheer raw charisma you know mm -hmm. you're just kind of like even if he's you know kind of flailing where his character is just kind of flailing the whole time yeah and it's interesting because I was comparing the whole time this to Guy Ritchie's Snatch, particularly I know the Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels and the Gentleman, but I mean it's very Guy Ritchie esque. But Snatch is my personal favorite, although I yeah. really liked the Gentleman, um, and you know Brad Pitt figured so prominently in Snatch, you know, as the pikey, the pikey. box, <laughs> <laughs> the dags, the dags. Yeah. Okay, guys, get up on the police. <laughs> Get back down, or you will not be coming up next time. Oh, bollocks, tears. This is sick. I'm out of here. You're not going anywhere, you tick lump. You said till the job's done. I love that film. I can watch that film anytime, mm. any place. Yeah, no, I had to rewatch them all when the gentleman came out. I did an article for the paper, you know, basically ranking all of Guy Ritchie's movies. You know, pretty right. straightforward listicle thing. Um, but it meant I sat down and rewatched them all, or in the case of the uh, Madonna one, watching it for mm. the first time because I'd never bothered watching that one. Um, and yeah, Snatch is just still the best. Yeah, yeah. It it's, just it... takes it takes everything that he uh, laid out in lock stock and it's just a bit sharper a bit more polished this mm -hmm. time out and he's got better actors this time out and you know it's still just as kind of convoluted and complicated and there's all the banter and and the fast pace and the intertwining backstories and all that kind of stuff but in the end you're just kind of like oh you be you're just doing it better this time mm -hmm. you know it's like that was the dress rehearsal and this is the you know do you, do you remember our, you know our mutual friend friend tim yes yes of course yeah I was just thinking back in 2016, my friend who is a stand-up comedian in America came out and uh, did a couple shows here in, mm. in Hong Kong. And he was on Phil's show. That night, we all go to, this is the place we go in Wan Chai. Joe like, Bananas. Joe Bananas. Thank you. And uh, a few of the gang are there. And, and Tim's there. And I introduced Matt to Tim. And then Matt pulls me aside. He goes, Dude, your friend Tim looks so much like Bricktop from Snatch. <laughs> uh. And and when you think about it, he he could pull that off. He oh, could, I reckon so. Yeah. I could picture Tim saying, you know, I'll feed you to the pigs. <laughs> and when and I, I say the same thing whenever someone offers me sugar for my tea or coffee, I'm like, no, nah, I'm sweet enough. <laughs> and he's like the <laughs> furthest from being sweet nasty, in any, yeah. any way. Just like, oh. <laughs>